Hello and welcome back and today we want to continue looking at NAS based hard drives and server drives and the noise they make. Now today we are looking at the Western Digital Ultra Star series. This is the HC330 and we're going to be running an audio test on this drive along with some performance benchmarks but a few disclaimers straight off the bat. As you can see we're running a slightly different setup today with the drive testing up there and over there we've got an audio meter. Let's go into a little bit of detail there. In case you didn't catch the other video, the audio meter setup over there is a Sabrant um, USB 3 dock utilizing traditional USB 3 speeds. Luckily, hard drives aren't going to max out SATA today. Now, we are running an audio test measurement device there, and right now we have lowered the calibration to minus 25. But if we return it to the usual um, rating, as we can see here, and return it to zero, the first thing that will strike you is the overall background noise in this in ambient environment like so and as you can see that's going to make things very very difficult to track now we could have purchased hundreds if not thousands of pounds of audio equipment to do this but they've got no guarantee about the success of this video and this video isn't about the precise decibel measurements it's more about noticing the clicks hums and whirs and to give you a general understanding of what drives like this can generate in terms of noise without the NAS, or without rack mount fans and stuff. This is just the drives on their own, so you can extrapolate that overall. So what we're doing is, rather than running it at that ambient noise, which is measured as follows, as you can see, we are going to lower the rating there down to minus 25, and that minus 25 there will allow us to remove the majority of the ambient noise being recognized by this audio meter and then from there we can extrapolate the drives so now the rate rating is very low indeed and that will allow us to remove a lot of the background noise and get a better reading but once again remember these scores are relative these are relative to the environment we are testing they aren't being utilized in a multi-bay NAS they aren't being utilized in a business or um, enterprise level environment this is a simple one meter test of these drives and audio recording we have here an audio sensor there plugged into the phone uh, noise recorder there as well uh, we're using a different mic for the dialogue um, but what I'm going to be doing in post is enhancing the noise that these drives make to give you guys an understanding of the noise they make so bear in mind the noise that you're going to be hearing isn't truly indicative of of the end result it's a very very close recording there and when you do have these drives generally you're going to be a meter or two meters away so they're more for guidance and although the drives will make this noise in those similar environments it's worth highlighting that i'm exaggerating those noises just a little bit probably about 10 to 20 percent to give you guys a better understanding of what to listen for and also bear in mind this sabrant um audio dock I'm oh, sorry, um, USB 3 dock makes no noise. So if we click it now. That big noisy bus in the background didn't help. You can see that that Sabrant dock makes practically no noise. It doesn't have a fan. It produces no electrical hum. It is perfect for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to inject our uh, Western Digital Ultra Star drive, this 10TB. Now bear in mind, this is an enterprise class drive designed for rack mount, uh, sound systems, data centers, stuff like that. And it will generally be used in enormous arrays. So very rarely will you ever use one of these drives on their own, but occasionally you see them on good prices, or you want more robust drives in a two, four or eight bay device. So you may be considering them. Now when I inject this drive, it's worth highlighting a couple of things. First and foremost, that I have already formatted the drive in advance i've already uh, gone through disk part um and oh no wrong one there and i've already formatted the sectors on multiple disks prior to this recording um so again we won't have to go through the tawdry storage manager and stuff like that to add this drive or also bear in mind occasionally i will obviously try to be as quick quite as possible during boot um so when that happens it's just going to be me looking bored so you can fast forward that if you like um and also we're going to be doing an aja performance test and some um read and write activity on this disc to try and poke the drive a little bit to get some activity but probably one of the most obvious ways in which enterprise drives make more noise is during boot up as you're about to see now remember this is a single drive 
not a large scale environment so try to imagine this across 24 drives in a rack mount of all things so let's go ahead and begin that noise test i'm going to be quiet from now So straight away, you must have noticed those spike noises there. The general f noise of the drive spinning as well. Let's hear that. See, that background noise of that spinning is always going to be noticeable. And on these larger drives with more platters and more activity in the arm and the actuator and stuff reading from the drives a lot, that is where these drives make a lot more noise. Now, we've already got the drive there. As mentioned, it should have already appeared, as you see there on screen. And again, I'll try to keep everything on screen as much as possible. But worst case scenario, if something's going to get covered, it's me. Um, let's go ahead and first things first, open up AJA for our performance benchmark. We'll get the graphs there on screen. It's going to be a 4 gig test file. And it's going to be on the external drive, as you see there. We don't have any of the disk caching or any of the other stuff. And we're just going to do a nice, simple read and write run on this disk. Now, bear in mind, this won't tax the drive, because, uh, uh, especially in the noisiest sense, because you are doing one sole action each time. This isn't heavy read write. And we're going to go through some of that activity later on. But for now, let's go ahead and click Start. So again, that read and write activity, it maintained that lovely performance benchmark that you would expect from an Ultrastar drive. But it has to be said that again, because we are doing kind of um, load balance take in turns read activity, we're not going to get a great reading there on that disk. So we're going to click stop there. And now we're going to make our way into uh, just a PC management. And all we're going to do now is do some simple drag and drop activity on this drive. And this should at least in the second sense, get some real activity out of this drive to give us a little understanding of the noise that's going on it. Bear in mind, of course, that heavy write activity with read happening in simultaneously is where the action will be at. So first things first, we've got this folder here. This is um, a general external drive I have on this system. It's around about 200 odd gig inside here. So we're going to go ahead and click copy. We're then going to copy that 241 gig into this external drive. We're not going to let it finish. We're just going to let it run for a minute or two um, because we're not, remember, we're not focusing too much on performance here. We're looking primarily at the um, activity of the noise and the uh, drives inside. So we're going to go ahead and create an external drive, nice and easy. Let's call it new folder. We're going to go into it and we're going to copy that data in. We're maintaining that uh, performance there. And again, I know I said I don't focus too much on performance. These are quite a lot of large, big files. Most of them are a couple of gig and maybe even three gig in some cases. And we've also got VMs in there. But we're still hitting above that 200 megs performance, which is nice there. Let's let it run for a little bit longer.
and that should just about do it. So that right activity, fair play to the disc. It didn't tax the disc too much. And of course, I know a number of you in the comments are going to highlight that a fuller disc would make more noise and we will be running full disc tests later on. But for now, our next test, we're going to click copy. Inside there, as we can see, is around about 14 gig of data. So in that 14 gig of data, we're now going to create a new folder from within the disk. And what we're going to do is copy data from the disk onto the disk itself. Now, this is where hard drives generally fail. For this kind of activity, you want to go for an SSD, which has a far better um, balancing point between uh, the read and write activities at once. Hard drives are going to do a very poor job of this. I'll be very surprised if this drive can maintain anything above 80 to 100 megs during this operation, even if it does have a good area of cache inside. And what we're going to do is um, copy this data from the drive onto a new area of the drive. Now, what's going to be interesting here is the simultaneous read-write activity. And I think this is where we may hear that drive ramp up a little bit there in the background. But what we're going to do is click paste, and then we're going to be a little bit quiet during this next bit. Now, fair play to this disc, it is getting close to that 100 megs. It's living in that 70 to 80 megs, which again, fine on a single hard drive like this with a read and write activity happening all inside. But the noise there has certainly gone up a little bit since what we were doing before, as the arm is having to flick between read and write activity internally of that disc as data is being transmitted to the drive and the arm is reading from it simultaneously via the cache on a nice circular um, environment. We're gonna let that run for a little bit longer. And that should about do it for now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be quiet for a few seconds and then I'm going to power the drive down. I'm gonna do it unsafely, I know, but we need to show just relative balance here between no drive activity and drive activity. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cancel this operation. I want you to keep an eye on the decibel meter as we cancel this operation and then power down the external dock and therefore bringing back that silence there. So starting now, maybe ignore the bus in the background that's absolutely ruining this moment, but after the bus goes by, thank you Blighty. See, we're living there at that 9, 10, 11 dB. And that gives you some idea about relativity of that drive. So if we spin it up one last time before we end the video, just to bring things back to what we've been hearing all along. And ultimately, I hope this video has given you some idea about when people complain about the noise of hard drives or when they talk about, or people like myself that will say to you, enterprise level hard drives make more noise. I hope this video has given you some sense of relativity about that. Now, we have got many, many drives here to try out in the course of the next few days. So I'm gonna be running a test on all of them in the hope to show you guys exactly what we've done and how this can be helpful to you in buying the right NAS solution for you. Enterprise drives gives you a huge amount of performance, but at the expense of their general ambient noise.
Um, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, chuck me a like. It helps me know that these videos are getting somewhere. If you do want to learn more, click subscribe. Because as I say, we're going to be covering a myriad of drives here right next to me. We've got everything from Iron Wolves to Barracudas to Exos and more. And we'll be going through all of them in this stage of testing. And then, of course, doing the comparisons and then the full drive audio testing as well. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.